G'day guys, back again with the tyre and Brenda. What we've got here is a cool little partner drill with the tyre. Now the thing with the tyre is it is so iconic for boot camps. So if you can get your hands on one, and you're able to transport one to wherever you're training or whatever you're doing. Yeah, the tyre and the rope. Yeah, tyre and rope are the most iconic boot camp things. Uh, but the tyre is intimidating and can be a bit hard to use. And sometimes, yeah, you can do like a double person flip and stuff like that. There are a few different exercises. But here's a cool little partner one you can share. Uh, what we're going to do is like a partner push. So we're going to get both on knees. Now, you don't want, you don't want to be too far away from the tyre. So basically, when you're catching the tyre, you want to be able to catch it into your chest and push it back out. So with Brenda's arms outstretched, they should basically be touching the tyre, because otherwise, the tire, if, if Brenda's too far away, the tyre's gonna be down here. You don't want the tyre down there. You want the tyre staying close up towards the chest. So if that falls on Brenda's side, so let it, let it come into your side, let it come all the way in, should be at about her chest. And so we're gonna partner up. So it's a cool little partner exercise. You want ideally the same sort of size. All right. And it's just a cool little exercise, you know, a variation of, I suppose, a press or, or a medicine ball throw or a chest pass, but something cool you can do with a partner and a tire. All right, guys, back again with a monster tire this time with Brenda and going to share another partner exercise uh, with a big tire. Now, to be honest, I've only ever trained uh, using tires very limited. I've done, you know, some of the plyometric stuff. I've done a bit of hitting, uh, like with a sledgehammer under the tire. And I've done some flips, but I've never actually done flips with a tire that really challenged me. So I don't know how heavy this tire is, but this one is definitely challenging and for me, definitely very heavy. So uh, I don't know, I've got no idea on the, on the weight of this tire, but it's definitely a challenge for me to, t to, to flip it three to five times. He's definitely putting all my effort in. Now, you may have a giant tire like this and have no one who can flip it. You know, Brenda couldn't flip this thing by herself. That's fine because as I said, it's hard but you can actually turn it into a bit of a team activity. Same sort of thing, if you have access to tires like this, it's just, you know, like a shoulder tap, two people go out, like you might use a battling rope or something like that, you could use a giant tire like similar to this. So let's have a go. Same sort of setup, we're gonna get in behind the tire. You wanna make sure everyone's, uh, you're flat, as back, back as possible, and we're pushing forwards. One, two, three, yep. Knees up, and push over. All right, guys. Much easier to do with two people than one person. Let me know if you've, um, we've got to duck down, do we, or yeah. we're good? <laughs> so let me know if you've used tires before, if you're using them, hit like. Let me know if you're substituting these exercises for something different or something similar. Uh, let me know if you enjoy what other exercises you're using tires for, all that sort of stuff. Love to hear from you in the comments. Uh, hit like, share it, guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you with the next video.